There's no need to pray, it's okay, you're welcome. Ha! I guess it's just my way of being me. You're welcome, you're welcome. I am on my way to Nam. It is raining like hell, which means LA drivers all around suck. <laughs> but luckily, uh, traffic got a lot easier once I hit beach on the five. Everyone's just dumb until then. Then they're just a little less dumb. So I'm gonna get there, uh, staying with a buddy for a couple days, and luckily he's like, I'll drop you off. So that means I don't have to take the bus. Anyways, yeah, it's raining. I'm not gonna do this too much. And I really have to pee. It's a good That was quick. Got my badge. Let's go walk around. be without some protesters. What protesters? That protester. There's two of them, but they're there. What time is it? Almost five. It's almost five. We've only been here for like three hours and I already want to go home. Yeah. Uh, honestly, the best thing about it are these whisper rooms. If you can probably hear it, there's a lot of low rumble. Yeah. It's because there's a lot of noise going on really nothing about nothing. It's the same every year at NAM. Yeah. So NAM is basically... <laughs> I don't even know how to describe NAM because it's so many different things. I have a description. Uh, My description of NAM is you take 10 guitar centers and you put them on steroids. That's basically it. Normally it's for manufacturers to show off the new wares, buyers and distributors to make deals. make deals and stuff and the artists to come and show face to back their you know to back their endorsees endorsements uh, endorsements <laughs> I can't I can't I can't, can't English. English so the bad thing is uh, on top of all the artists coming by which is fine you get a whole bunch of people who are more or less just fans and just like to play music that get tickets from someone or somewhere and they come and they just play loudly for hours on end trying to impress people. Uh, one of my favorite descriptions of Nam is you're there to see the hundred people that you really want to and then you get a hundred thousand other people just lying to each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's... That's right. Yeah. That's so true. I'm supposed to be networking but I have done about one percent of it because I'm just oh, it's so loud. It's so loud. Tomorrow's gonna be worse because it's Saturday. All right, we're just gonna rest yeah. and enjoy the confinement of the whisper room. <laughs> the so George was being a nice person right now. I had to get new earplugs because I'm an idiot and I lost one of mine today at NAM. Emphasis on idiot. Idiot. Oh, we know that. Everybody knows that. He bought food for this homeless dude that was asking for money, uh, but when we came back out, he was gone. And normally, I, you know, you feel bad because yeah. George tried doing a good thing, but they were gone. Apparently, this isn't the first time it happened either, oh, which no. was even funnier to me now. <laughs> Right. Second time. Second time. What's, that, what's that tell you, Georgie? Homeless people don't like me. I was gonna say don't be nice, but whatever. <laughs> Guys, there's a f nickel nickel here! What? What?
Yes! Oof, there is ice on my car. It is so cold. It's kind of pretty that it's sparkly though. So I have no place to complain because I was in Washington and it was 11 degrees. Now it's like 6 in the morning, heading to the gym. And like you saw, my car is just covered in ice. I guess my biggest complaint is right now I'm in mesh shorts. <laughs> so this part's warm enough, but my legs are freezing. I wiped off all my windows, I thought it was okay, but then I realized my windshield was all covered. Was that crack from my couch? <laughs> no.